Hello everybody and welcome to this Let's Discuss of Dead by Daylight. The latest developer stream was huge on information, but a little short on time. Additionally, the announcements on stream were not even the large announcement for the community I'm still waiting on. So let's go over what all of this means. First, let's talk about the huge news that Behavior has officially purchased the rights of Dead by Daylight from Starbreeze. If you didn't know, Starbreeze was the publisher of Dead by Daylight, while Behavior is the developer. For those who don't know what a publisher does, simply they work on the distribution and marketing of the game, and since they are typically financing the development themselves, they tend to manage over the process through project managers or even staff of producers, meaning that they will push for deadlines and assure the project is headed in the direction they expect. This is huge because Behavior will be able to continue the work as they intend and as openly as they want without having to answer to a higher power. Their focus is where they want for the game, and they will now be able to communicate more transparently and clearly to the community without having to hide anything as a requirement from the publisher. And of course this means a lot for us who wanted better transparency, better balance fixes towards the releases. By being capable of setting their own deadlines and working on the project and the matters that they feel are important, we can hope to see good change change, but of course with change that takes time, so let's all take the next few months to just wait patiently to see what they have in store for us as there's a lot to come. And then we begin to move on to the important video release they did. The link will be in the description of the original video if you are curious to watch what Dead by Daylight released. First, if you didn't know, June marks the second year anniversary of Dead by Daylight. We've come a long way seeing this game evolve from its original release to the current day. Several new killers, survivors, maps added throughout the years. That being said, the video gives us a sneak peek into the future of Dead by Daylight planned for the next third year. We'll be looking at the release of four new killers, four new survivors, four new maps, and these will be released one set every three months. Each section of these three months will be broken up into two sections, the release of the new content, then the balance changes and bug fixes midway to assure that the game is running as properly as possible with as little broken as possible. Behavior even goes to announce the new changes to the DLC. Majority of the DLC, including killers, cosmetics, and survivors, will all be achievable through playtime in the game. What this means is that everything will be play to earn while you can still pay to progress. No more worries of having to spend money to unlock your favorite DLC chapter or cosmetics that you might miss out on. This goes for both new and old content, however licensed content is possible, but that'll be case by case as each license has the right to deny their content being free in the first place, so we'll see where it goes. They're going to go into more in-depth analysis on that, and when this whole process releases, they'll give us that kind of information. To show to what type of new cosmetics you can earn, they gave us a sneak peek at the following killer cosmetics, and my god, are they awesome. The art team is on board and ready to go make this one hell of an adventure. Of course, these cosmetics will have a cost, you could buy them with money, or there's going to be a possibility that you can earn them with in-game playtime, be it you get iridescent shards to purchase them. None of this is confirmed, but majority of cosmetics will be available, and the cosmetics should be affordable as well as they'll be making sure that everyone is going to be able to afford them with a budget. Details on how much these will cost or what you'll need hasn't been spoken on, so the specifics are still in the air, but the plans for the free DLC in general will allow everyone to participate after buying the base game, and then for those of us who can support the developers through their journey, can contribute to them and gain the items faster. I was also correct to think that a new tutorial section would be added, therefore I'll have to be scrapping all the tutorial videos I've been working since the emblem system will be released over the next few months. The new tutorial system will definitely defeat the purpose of my current tutorials, so I won't be releasing them. Gameplay at its core doesn't seem like it'll change, so I will still continue to press forward for individual killer tutorials, top 5 lists and advice on current perks and how they work, and then once the new system releases, I'll look if I even have to bother with the base tutorials. Then another nice addition for the players who want to prove themselves are also getting a leaderboard. This is a unique and amazing addition as normally there's no way to determine who was the top, it's all been hearsay and egotistical boosting, but now it'll be fun to watch those dedicated players fight for the top spot as the game will now have a definitive factor on what determines you as the best. And then you can boast your ego with something to prove it. There's several additions coming that I haven't even covered, but these were the big ones. Dead by Daylight seems to really be moving in a good and more open direction. It's heartwarming to know that the developers are pushing forward and capable of making plans to expand this game even further. So what of the current game and the current state? Well, 
that isn't a fix that can be remedied today. My belief is that during those mid-chapter updates, as this game progresses and more stuff releases, they'll begin to fix issues bit by bit, as I believe it should be. Core problems of what we're having in regarding to the current game situation is being unbalanced is something that takes time to fix. This is something that was likely overlooked due to deadlines or anything that might have kept behavior from answering questions to us directly. And with time, now that they have the rights to the game, they can make changes for the better of the game, and hopefully the community are satisfied with what they have to bring over the next few months. As a final note, I saw a mod post in the stream today that all support tickets regarding the ban wave have actually been resolved. With that being said, all your favorite content creators who have been recently banned that have not been given a reason have now been given the reason for as long as they've submitted a ticket for one before the support system went down for maintenance. Personally, I'm excited. Originally, there were mixed emotions, but the more I thought about it and how this game has evolved through the first year to the second, it's been quite an amazing time learning this game. Taking all the new techniques and how the community would grow, it's been a blast to see all the changes from a game that was relatively hard to play at start, but none of us acknowledged until later when we began to refine the game as a community and give feedback to the developers and seeing the changes. Then came the second year, which has been quite a bumpy road, with several changes that would otherwise throw the game into a state of chaos for me. But the new roadmap of balanced changes and future content give me hope that we will see improvements to come, and this third year could possibly be the best year of Dead by Daylight. One more thing to be aware of though, as I mentioned in the start, this was confirmed to not be the big announcement we've been waiting for. PAX East is supposed to have that announcement that will be massive for the community. Hopefully I'm not overhyping it, but they're baiting me with ye old carrot and stick, and I can't wait to see more, honestly. What do you guys think? Are you excited for the new cosmetics? I know I'm buying the hag one immediately, I need that salad head. How many of you are excited that you don't need to buy DLC to get the killers you're missing? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget that Friday at noon will be our live Let's Discuss on Twitch TV. Follow me there and follow my Twitter if you want the announcement of when we begin. I'll be changing the formatting there slightly as uh, to get more directly to the point with some people as I've seen the comments of what people want and changes in regards to the discussion. I've done my best to keep it as open of a forum as possible so that you could talk and I'll be sure to keep it as open as possible moving forward but also giving as many many people the chance to talk as possible. Thank you all for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, good game!